Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Portuguese Telecom Division of Telefonica fines 79 million euros. The EU drives regulation on clean fuels. Is the EU trying to take the role of global policing? Afghanistan to receive another 185 million euros. Plus, private corporate bailouts for Spain and Denmark. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up from our homepage, European kleptocrats are fundraising again. Today it's Telefonica SA who are in the dock. Fined 79 million euros for breaching EU competition rules. Hmm. I wonder what they'll do with all that money. Give it to the imploding Portuguese banks, perhaps? This article has the full details. Electric vehicles, gas-powered ships, hydrogen fuel cells. This article details the latest round of legislation drafting being undertaken by the socio-political scribes at the Commission. The article points out that the EU apparently has a passenger car fleet of over 200 million. As with the majority of EU stories, it always boils down to cash at some point, and this article is no different, with an anticipated spend of 10 billion euros. Grab your helmets, Mr Barroso and his chums could be pushing the EU to take on the role of a world police force. <laughs> I can see it now. Galactopol EU, a universal force for justice and democracy throughout the Federation. <laughs> oh yes, brings a tear to my eye. Meanwhile, back in the real world, this article looks at the rapid shift in operational capability by the EU. With the current war developments in Mali and North Africa, this article has got its finger right on the pulse, and you can bet we'll have more to come very soon. I do believe you're sweating, Mr Draghi. It's clearly a gargantuan task, keeping the ECB Heidelbergs printing euros at warp speed. Well, fear not, sir. There's going to be no shortage of work. Yes, our EU Bureau de Change has been busy writing up more tote tickets with the people's favourite fiat currency. This article sees the Afghanistan Minister of Finance cashing in his chips for a cool 185 million euros. The European Union bog off. I said you buy one, you get one free. That's right, two for the price of one in these articles. The EU Private Sector Bailout Fund the European Global Adjustment Fund is in full swing. Spanish metal production has fallen victim to the economic collapse and Spain is cap in hand at the EGF office in Brussels with a chitty for 1.2 million euros. Also in the same queue is Denmark having suffered a similar plight in her electronics industry and requiring 1.3 million euros. Links to both articles from our legislation section are below. Today in our video library, pro-Europe, anti-EU. All governments must be in place to serve the people. The constitutional doctrine of the people, for the people, is sacrosanct. The moment you have despondency and disillusion, you have the beginning of the end. When the people don't turn out to vote for your policies, or when the state refuses to hear their voices, that is the point where your freedom ends and their rule begins. The EU talks the talk, but does it really walk the walk? People will always tell you what they're not. Enjoy the film. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news, stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter, and our Twitter username is the EUnit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word programme is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>